Welcome back to the Best of Wisconsin Homes. I'm your host, Stacey Hansen. With me now is Don Hopkins of Don Hopkins Home Inspections. Welcome back, Don. Hey, thanks Let's for talk me. about uh, home inspection surprises. You've seen some things when you've, you've been out there doing this for a while. You've seen some things that are pretty surprising. Let's let's talk about what you've seen out there in the field. Oh, some of the surprising things I find is really common sense. Um, gutters are are filled with debris. Um, wow. People, you know, especially during the winter time here. The, the hose bibs still have hoses attached to them that are frozen. Oh my goodness. Which, yeah, so the, the pipes are going to break and those are some of the things that people can just take care of and I'm just so surprised that it hasn't been taken care of already. Well, you know, that's not what I was expecting you to say at all. You know, I thought it would be something more dramatic, but these seem like super easy things that people should be able to, to fix on their own. Do you have some kind of, do you give these people some kind of checklist like this is what you need to do at the beginning of winter or what do you suggest? Um, when I go through, I do the home inspection, I'm looking for all any kind of defects and things that need to be repaired or taken care of. Um, and then I do go over it with them and kind of show them how to maintenance, how to take care of it, make suggestions like that. Because it's not, it's a little bit more above and beyond of home inspection. I kind of give them that a little insight of how to take care of things. Because in today's age, not everybody's taking care of the things they need to. Yeah, you know, people aren't taught that maybe the way they used to be once upon a time. So, but there are do-it-yourselfers out there that are maybe a little more advanced in some of this. Do you, do you think it's okay for them to sometimes do repairs on their own? Does it always have to be done by a professional, do you think? Um, gosh, you know, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you have the knowledge or you have a friend that can help you do it, just make sure you know what you're doing. If you don't, hire a professional. Because having it, you can do it yourself and may cost you a certain amount of money, but if you have to redo it, you're going to pay that price again, so now it even costs you even more money. So sometimes those main things like electrical plumbing, even kitchen remodels, have it professionally done and you're going to be way ahead of the game. Yeah, some things are just definitely advanced professional level and it, yeah, I, I definitely, for myself, I would not, would not attempt a lot of that. So some people though, if they feel confident, they've got some experience, they can do it. But let's talk typical maintenance though. You know, if people keep up on the things like, you know, leaves in the gutter or, you know, putting their hoves away, at the end, you know, before <laughs> the freeze hits. Um, so if, that, if they're doing that, they can keep things from becoming a major issue, right? That is correct. Um, I always tell people every year there's always going to be some maintenance things like that to do. Don't think that once you buy a house, you're in it and you don't have to do anything else but just make the mortgage payment. Understanding that anytime there's settlement outside, there's going to be water going towards the foundation. You're going to want to do some regrading of that, make sure that you get a positive slope away from the foundation, make sure your gutters are cleaned out, unhook those hoses from the water spigots before winter hits. And also, if you're inside the house and there's a railing that's loose, Tighten it right away since you know about it then. It can become a larger issue and more of a costly uh, fix later if you don't do that. So I guess you could say really you see yourself as part of your role is to educate people on how to maintain their home. How does that go? Well, I tell you what, I do more than just the home inspection. I want to educate them on what they're getting. And like I say, every house has like a story and I want to be able to help them hear that story and knowing what to take care of. So having a home inspection, and I'm going to educate them further so this is above and beyond. And then you're going to get a lot more value for your dollar in having a home inspection with me. And I've, I've called you it before, but I'm going to call you again, the house whisperer. He's telling <laughs> you the, the, the story of your home. So if someone wants to get in touch with you for a home inspection or radon testing, which you also do, what's the best way to go about that? Give me a phone call. Uh, the number's at the bottom of the screen. Um, do that, or the best way also, just go to my website, madisoninspection.com, fill out that little you know, uh, schedule a consultation. All that information will be helpful for me. So when I do call you back, uh, we then can discuss what you're looking for. Excellent. Sounds great. Thank you, Don Hopkins of Don Hopkins Home Inspection. Stay with us. There's more right after this.